Hi, thanks for joining me. It's Christine Crutcher from Create with Christine. I'm here with another Tuesday tip video tutorial. For my project today, I'm using the April 2018th paper pumpkin kit. It's called You Are My Anchor. Um, this is adorable and just screams New England in summertime to me, so I knew I had to create um, a different project with this kit. The supplies that you get in the kit are supplies for 20 mini cards and envelopes and then four boxes. So I'm going to show you how I made an alternative project today. So this is an 8x8 eight eight sampler. Um, some people also refer to it as framed art. So this is an 8x8 eight eight piece of Whisper White cardstock. And then so the Whisper White cardstock and then the squares that are Island Indigo, the blue, those are two and a quarter by two and a quarter, and then the patterned squares are two by two. So the only supplies I used or added to this project that were not in the kit was one piece of Whisper White, eight and a half by 11, and one piece of Island Indigo, eight and a half by 11. Just so you know, this color is retiring. The Island Indigo um, will be leaving us. So I just wanted to go over some tips in making a sampler. I'm not going to do all the stamping because um, it's probably going to take too long to do all the stamping. But just want to give you some tips on putting this together if you haven't put one together before. So in the kit, there are die cut sheets. So this is a sheet with the circles and the banners. So I used the large circle for the middle for the You're My Anchor, the small circle for the Ahoy with the little anchor. I used the rectangle piece, the tall rectangle piece for the lighthouse down here that was stamped. And then I just cut the rectangle down. And then for this sheet of die cuts, I used the life ring here and then I used the coral lighthouse on this one up here. So how did I get all those little background squares? There's eight squares on this project. In the kit there were five cards and they're three by three cards. So this one's all the blue anchors in the island indigo. This one has a cool burst with waves at the bottom but you might notice on this square here, I, since I cut it down to two by two, what I noticed was I cut as close to the waves at the bottom because I wanted some waves, and that's how I measured my two. And then I just kind of cut off part of the burst, um, but it still looks fine for what I wanted to accomplish. And I did stamp the little sailboat down on the corner. Um, for this image, this card, I just used the bottom one with the little hearts. I thought that was cute. You could use the one with just the waves. This square I just kept as is, and then this square I kept as is. After I stamped the lighthouse and mounted it to the coral, I did stamp the little birds so it overlapped both pieces. So that's the five squares. So there's three more squares in my project. So what I did is I used the envelopes. So this is the envelope, the inside of the envelope that I used for this project, this square. The coral with the anchors for this one. And then this one is all of the waves. So simply all I did was very gently tear open the envelope and then I cut off the flaps, this flap, this flap, this, this flap, and this flap, and then I have a square in the middle, so I just cut down that square to two by two. So I hope that makes sense. Um, all my little banners are popped up on mini dimensionals, including the circle as well on this little banner, so the kit provides the mini dimensionals for you. And then the kit included this awesome twine, so for this piece, I just cut a six by uh, a six inch piece and knotted it to make the little um, twine. And then the same with this, I just cut a piece and tied it into a knot. For this, I did stamp the anchor on the circle, and then you'll notice I got the 
twine through the hole. So I just use my handheld punch to create that hole to punch through. So those are my tips. Um, other than that, I pretty much followed the kit for a lot of the projects, like for um, the lifesaver, for putting the twine behind the lifesaver. Um, you use glue dots to get the twine, and then I popped up the whole thing on dimensionals. So this will fit in an 8x8 eight eight scrapbooking frame that I'm going to purchase at a local craft store, big box store. And then I can have it up, um, it'll be great up for the summertime in my office, um, in my home. Or it actually would also make a great gift. Father's Day is coming up quickly, so you could think about making one for Father's Day. When I mounted this onto the 8 by 8 square, I do like to use liquid glue because you have a minute to wiggle it around and get it in place where you want it. And the whole frame itself, or the whole piece, has about a half inch piece around the border. So I recommend laying out all your nine squares, or eight squares in a circle, and then get it how you want it placed before you glue it down, just to make sure it's kind of how you want it. So I hope you liked that project. It's kind of a twist on paper pumpkin. If you Give me a like, comment, or share this post on my Facebook, YouTube, or my blog by Monday, April 30th at midnight. I'll be raffling off supplies to make five mini cards in the box from this paper pumpkin kit, including the ink and the stamp set to one lucky viewer. Thanks so much for tuning in. I'll be back again, back again next week with another Tuesday tip video tutorial.